that ACLU is supposedly suing Johnny Depp. Um, so I saw this, and let's see if I can find the, uh, the article about it. Now, usually, uh, and this is one thing I do. So the way that I find, uh, like, the way that I aggregate things uh, to talk about on my stream is I usually like the things that, that happened, right? And so, like, I just want to make sure, because people think that, like, whenever I like a tweet, it means I agree with the tweet. I don't agree with this. I just like this to use it for content on my stream. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't agree with this. Like, this is, yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't agree with this. But there you go. Uh, you've got a lot of people out there that really got, uh, you know, they've got opinions. Uh, well, what the fuck? It is what it is. And so let's see if I can find this real quick. Where's the ACLU thing? ACLU uh, supports abusers. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is what people are talking about. The ACLU has been filed has filed to be reimbursed for their time uh, and cost of document prep to the tune of eighty six thousand uh, dollars. There are rules that provide for the EC below. This is a hearing set. So effectively, what they're saying is that they want Johnny Depp to pay. 90,000, almost 90,000, $86,000 uh, to the ACLU for being able to provide a few documents. And uh, yeah, why though? Well, it's because obviously, why not sue Amber? What the fuck? Well, it's simple. It's because the ACLU supports her. That's why. Uh, the ACLU has not come out and made a statement about this. Uh, there's no reason for them not to. They could clearly say that. Uh, you know, they could make a general statement without, like, saying guilt or anything like that, but they support her. Uh, because if they didn't, they would actively come out and say, listen, hey, I, I don't know what happened, uh, but, you know, this is something that we're looking into, we're aware of it, and, you know, domestic violence is no joke. Uh, that's it. They want their pledge? Well, I don't know why they're trying to support Amber then. Uh, that's all there is to it. What's the ACLU? Um, it used to be like an organization for supporting, uh, like it's called the American Civil Liberties Union. And like they used to go out in basically like defending people that had extremely, uh, I, I guess like what's the word for it, like bad like examples of freedom of speech, right? So they would defend somebody like the Ku Klux Klan to like, oh, well, they can march. And basically like they were the ones that just very plain and simply defended uh, the American civil liberties, right? Like that, that's what they did. A and they did that. And uh, huh? Yeah, they did. And uh, no, this is this was not a bad thing because obviously like just because you have uh, an opinion that's disagreeable doesn't mean that you don't have the uh, protection under the law. And I think this is always something that's important. If you decide that, oh, well, people who agree with me can have freedom of speech and people who can't can't have freedom of speech, well, then you don't really have freedom of speech because there's always going to be people that disagree with you. So it actually was a very good thing, and they've always supported things, whether it be for, uh, you know, uh, abortion, uh, whether it be for freedom of speech, whether it be for other stuff like that. Uh, recently, I think that the organization has been co-opted and turned into a political uh, machine uh, that's very much one-sided, and I think it's a shadow of its former self. And I found it to be much more biased and uh, not necessarily something I would support in the same way that I used to 10 years ago. And so, uh, yeah, music loud. I think the music's fine. But, uh, yeah, let's see here. Music's peaking a bit. I'll turn it down slightly, okay? It looks like it is slightly above the volume. Uh, they're going to sue you now? Well, I mean, they didn't make any documents for me. If you only support freedom of speech for those you agree with, you don't support freedom of speech. Noam Chomsky? Well, I think there's a lot of ways to say it, right? I mean, I think that any logical person can come to this conclusion. Uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, dumb opinions, why we have First Amendment even, it applies solely to that, in my opinion. You don't need the right for things that people agree with. Obviously not. What about someone's freedom to not feel like a group of people in your town want you dead, whichever is easier? I think that there's a very clear and obvious difference between talking about something that's an uh, act of violence and inciting violence and just people that are stupid fucking racists. Like, I, I do think these two things are very different. And uh, if you see one of them, one of them is bad. The other one is also actionable, right? You can go to jail for that. There's a clear divide there. And I think that most reasonable people think that. And uh, yeah, as general, in general, I think that a lot of times uh, I, I draw the line. This is where I draw the line of like what people can and can't say uh, in general in terms of like bullshit like that. Is this actionable? Is this something that is inciting violence? Is this, you know, doing that? And I think that's very obviously what it is. Should you ignore the history of how these organizations have operated? Well, um, the ACLU and uh, the, 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 you either have your, you, listen, 
It's very simple. You either have rights or you don't. It's that simple. And if you, if they can be taken away from you because of some context that people are using to rationalize it, then uh, you don't have rights. That's all there is to it. Uh, it's live, guys. It's not live. It's not live. Like they already gave the closing statement like a few few days ago. Like it, it, it's not. Like why why even say that? Like it's 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 not live. Uh, yeah, what, what, what's, what's going on here? Uh, didn't ACLU declare Pepe the Frog a hate symbol? Um, was that ACLU? I thought that was actually the, um, uh, Southern Poverty Law Center or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think that was actually another group. It wasn't, yeah, it was another one. Yeah, I think it was, S yeah, ADL Anti-Defamation League. Yeah, exactly. Uh, one of those instead. But yes, they decided that Pepe the Frog was a, uh, a racist meme. And uh, I thought that was stupid, but, you know, I mean, again, I think that's just something where those people just kind of lost the culture fight on that, where, like, everybody uses Pepe the Frog and nobody took it seriously. And again, I think that's another example of these organizations, uh, you know, that used to stand for, like, an objective value of, uh, of freedom and things like this that have then been co-opted to be used as a weapon. And then whenever that happens, people just stop taking them seriously. That's all it comes down to. And I think that's a great thing. Yeah, nobody cares what they think. Fuck them. That's stupid as hell. Um, what's this here? Do you feel positive about black people? No, I, I don't want to listen. Like, just because I think that the ACLU, it's good to defend people's freedom of speech, doesn't mean that I want to talk about your fucking niche racial issue, okay? Like, I, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to get into it. I don't really give a fuck, okay? Like, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to deal with it. It's not going to be a thing, man. And uh, let me go back and read the rest. His initial iteration of Pepe, people successfully rebranded the frog into something positive. Uh, that's that just sounds like bullshit to me. People always it was positive. It was always a small group of people that used it in a weird way, and that's always what it's going to be. Yeah, what about is Amandis? There's a lot of people that want me to. I, I think that any time that uh, that I say anything that people could maybe view as uh, you know okay for those kinds of people, they'll always try to get me to you know like reaffirm their beliefs or something like that. It's just they go crazy. It was mostly the context which they saw Pepe and research is all based on liberation issues. Well, I, I think that it was, um, in my opinion, you, you want to know what my honest opinion was? Is I thought that they just did that because Donald Trump uh, retweeted a picture of him being a Pepe. And uh, I think that they just did it because they didn't like him. Uh, that That's honestly, I think, all there was to it. Uh, I, I, yeah, that's that's literally it. Uh, I remember him retweeting the picture, and I think it had no, there was nothing else beyond it to that. There was no logic behind this. This was just a way that they could, you know, tangentially link him to being a racist. Uh, it was just bullshit. Uh, absolute fucking bullshit. It's like, imagine being mad at Donald Trump, and then the one thing you try to, uh, you know, like, actually criticize him for is a cartoon frog. Holy shit. And so anyway, let's look at the rest of this stuff here, and uh, I'll talk about the actual article, and uh, we've kind of gone off on a tangent here. And so uh, basically what happened is the ACLU has filed to be reimbursed, uh, reimbursed uh, for uh, the hard labor of probably uh, going through a search query on their, uh, on their database about Amber Heard. And apparently the, uh, let's see if I can find out a little bit more information about this. Um... I read this uh, whenever I was laying down, so I'm not really sure exactly what all that is. Uh, I don't agree with this. Also, because Pepe was very prominent and very racist 4chan memes. Um, yeah, I don't really think it was that prominent at all. As somebody who's been on 4chan many times before, it really wasn't that prominent. And if you wanted to use that same paradigm, you could have classified five other things in the same way. They did it because it was Pepe, and they did it because Donald Trump was linked to it. That's all there is to it. Uh, I think that in many cases, the simplest answer is simply the simplest answer, and that's probably the right one. That's what I think they did. Even if Johnny doesn't win the verdict, he wins by finally speaking out against all he's been through. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the way a lot of people look at it, man. Uh, absolutely. And uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, abuser uh, Amber Heard. Uh, uh, abuse apologist Steve Barlow. And I don't know what this other one is. L let me go back and double check this because I don't have no idea. Uh, Amber Heard uh, warned she could face jail time over perjury claims. Yeah, very fucking true. And uh, what even is this? Uh, he's moving on his life. She should too. She can't. She has to wait for the verdict. He's on tour. Oh, this is a person who's mad about that. It was about the opportunity of a trial to further his abuse. Whatever the verdict, he continues freely. She does not. Though well, that's actually true. Yeah, I mean, that's the way it goes. Is uh, Yeah, people are obviously pissed off about this. And this is what happens, right? Is that the internet 
I think that this is one thing the internet does really well is that they push people into corners and they make them like super fucking extremist because it's not like you can have a bad opinion as soon as you have a bad opinion everybody in the whole world tries to push it down tries to like dunk on you they all try to like fucking make you look stupid and, and like talk shit about you and it's like the truth is like that's what happens though right is like if you have a dumb fucking opinion and you post it on a public website and then you get your feelings hurt because people post their fucking dumb opinions on the same public website oh i'm sorry but that's just the way things go that's the what happens is don't step into the arena if you, if you want to fucking uh, get upset about this or delete it or, or stop talking about it, right? Uh, Crazy Chris with the five gifted community subs. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. But uh, yeah, social consequences. Well, it's not even really a social consequence. It's just that a lot of people view... There are a lot of people out there that view disagreement as harassment. If you think that, you, if you think that they're wrong, they're being harassed. Okay, like they're being fucking, this is like a vicious, coordinated, internet fucking strike squad. And it's like, ah, man, that's probably not really true. I think that you're just being a little bit, uh, a little bit dramatic. Consequences for disagreement is what they want. You're exactly right. And, and that's what they want. They want to be able to, uh, to live in two minutes. Oh, really? Uh, do we have that, uh... Yep, looks like we do. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, we're not sure if this is going to be it or not, but I guess we're about to find out in just a couple of seconds. Uh, it's kind of crazy to think that, like, after all this time, we're about to see it. Like, I, and by the way, they could literally come up and be like, yeah, we're not sure if they're going to have a, a, a verdict yet. Um, so, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, just stick around. And uh, that's about it. So we'll see what's going to happen. And uh, what's this here? Verdict's gonna be like this. Amber paid fifty million dollars. Johnny's gonna have to shit in her bed. No, it's not gonna happen, man. And uh, I'm sorry, but I'm an accredited member of the Walled Minion Strike Squad. We get paid by Johnny. Yeah, I actually heard about this. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like those people. Remember how they said that like a bunch of the people that were attacking Amber Heard were bots? Like you remember how uh, how that was like a big a, a big fucking thing, right? Everybody attacking Amber Heard's a bot. Well. uh... You guys know how, like, how bullshit that is. Because, like, a lot of bots, like, have you guys gone to my YouTube, for example, and you see bots that, like, they're, they're like these fucking, uh, like, now that I've been talking about, like, crypto a bit more, uh, you've had a lot of bots that are, like, these crypto bots that are like, hey, it's me, Elon Musk, coming to you personally at this YouTube comment, if you give me one Bitcoin, I will give you two Bitcoins. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I just want to encourage trading with cryptocurrency. So, you know, send it on over to this wallet and, you know, we'll see what happens. And uh, this is what happens, right? And uh, they, I mean, the thing is, like, you get somebody with that, like, again, it's like one out of a million. But if you post it and 20 million people see it, you just made a lot of money. And so anyway, uh, this kind of stuff happens. And, uh... People just don't understand it. They don't understand how the bots work. They don't have any idea. Uh, less UK thing, which is a 10 gifted community subs. I appreciate that. And uh, again, I think that uh, lawyers, uh, what's this here? Uh, we use topics they know the jury likely won't know a lot about to make it seem deceitful. No, you're exactly right. And um, uh, also, like, I, I really am disappointed that they didn't bring up an expert that explained how botting worked. Because I think this was actually one of the more easily disprovable things, is like the bots and, and stuff like that. Maybe because it wasn't like very pertinent to the uh, to the trial, to be honest. But it was something that annoyed me. And I don't think Johnny will win on merits of the case. It's not about abusive behavior of Amber, it's about defamation. Johnny's case was focused way too much on proving that, uh, that she's in fact an abuser. Well, no, it, it's all about that. Because if, the, if he proves that she's an abuser, and he's not an abuser, uh, then then it's it, it, then it's defamation categorically because she lied about something and because she lied about it then uh okay here we go let's go okay welcome back everybody so we are waiting for the jury to continue their deliberations today in the johnny depp amber heard defamation trial if we get an update from that courtroom we will jump live as soon as we can Okay, so anyway, um, pretty much what I was talking about was, uh, uh, anyway, like, why do you, like, yeah, 
Do you really need to do a three second trial baited? Good one. Oh, they got my ass. Oh, I thought so. Uh, well, whenever they're ready, they're ready. And uh, that's what it is. You don't want to rush them, right? I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of evidence to look at, guys. It really is. And uh, again, you want the jury to look at the evidence because that's what uh, that's what tells the real story, isn't it? And uh, how thick is Amber's stagger check? I don't think there's going to be much of a stagger check with this at all. I think, honestly, like, she's going to be yeeted and deleted. Like, uh, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter what happens because, like, they've already, people have already decided that she fucking lied. Like, that's what happens. It's the same thing with, like, uh, O.J. Simpson. Everybody's like, listen, O.J., we know you, we know you killed her. Like, we know, we know this happened. Like, uh, you know, like, most people just kind of accept this. And it's even after years and years and years. He did it. Yeah, you did it, man. We know it. Everybody fucking knows it. And so that's all there is to it, man. Nobody's getting, uh, uh you know, getting fucking, he's not getting, uh, roles on TV shows. There's not like, you know, uh, after, like, let's say he goes on an apology tour, or writes a book, and then he gets to go on Oprah and talk about it. Like, they don't do that for, uh, for OJ Simpson. And, and my, my favorite thing is, like, OJ Simpson will sometimes chime in, because now he's out of jail, right? And he'll sometimes chime in on social issues, and people will be like, Please, can we hear it from anybody but you? Please, I, I don't want to fucking hear anything. Like, anybody else could say the same fucking thing. But no, we don't want to see it from OJ motherfucking Simpson. Oh my god. Uh, wrote a book called If I Did It. Yeah, If I Did I bet he sure fucking did. And uh, it's just funny as hell. You're the man. Yeah, it's funny to see it. Michael, I don't Elden Ring. We might do a little bit of that today. We got the new WoW patch. We got a lot of stuff to go over, right? Right now, we're just going to chill and waiting to see what's going to happen. Uh, the jury, uh, what's this here? Uh, the glove did not fit. Uh, did you hear the jury member's house was supposedly broken into? Listen, guys. I mean, if something like that happens, I mean, you don't necessarily know that was a connection. People get their house breaking into, broken into pretty regularly. I mean, this is not something that's super uncommon. Uh, burglaries and uh, robberies happen very regularly. And so it's not to be guaranteed that this is why, uh, you know, this happened exclusively because of this, uh, this situation. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's the way it goes. Um, it, it's a, it's a daily occurrence for a lot of places. Absolutely. And I'm not saying that like, this is why or anything, but I'm just not going to, I'm not going to say, oh, I heard this happened. And then after, oh, I heard this happened. It's because of this. And this is what my opinion is on it. Well, I have no fucking idea. Yeah, I don't know. Why? How could I possibly fucking know that? Yeah, it was a great PR response. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's what I think. Yeah, I mean, I, that yeah, I have no fucking idea. It's finally the day. It could be. We're waiting to see what the uh, what the decision is going to be. Only windows were broken and property damaged. Nothing stolen. House was not breached. I mean, you. I mean, that it could very well be. Uh, you know, some sort of intimidation or not. Um, what's this here? If you want to laugh, the parents who OJ of of who OJ killed got the rights to the book and changed the cover of the book. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that, 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 that is pretty fucking funny. Well, anyway, um, what was I saying with this kind of stuff, right? Is, um, yeah, I, I think that ACLU trying to build Johnny Depp and this kind of stuff, uh, it, it seems like it, it's not hard to do a very simple, like, press release and say, like, listen, we, uh, we know what's going on. We've seen the news. You've seen the news. Everybody's seen the news. We don't know who's guilty. We're going to respect the law. And that's all there is to it. And that's all they have to do. Really, that, that's literally all they have to do. They don't have to go through and, you know, have this elaborate, you know, oh, we're billing you and, like, try to hold on to that. Yeah, there's no reason for this. You don't have to do that. Uh, it's petty. Yeah, it's a very petty thing to do, especially after Johnny Depp had already donated money to them. That's another factor. Now, obviously, the Amber Heard thing makes the ACLU look bad, but is it really the Amber Heard thing or the ACLU thing made the ACLU look bad? They were the one that helped her draft the article. 
They were the one that gave her the fucking partnership and all this stuff, ambassadorship. It was their decision, and they didn't vet it properly. They didn't look into it properly. They took her fucking word, and guess what? They're paying the price for it in PR, and they're the ones that are looking bad right now. I think this goes to show that if you're going to take somebody on with a very controversial past, you better in general have a pretty good idea of how those events actually went down. Uh, that's the way I'd see it. Important to note, they don't only need to determine who's telling the truth, but award damages in which needs to be, be unanimous. I don't really think the damages matter. Like, the truth is, like, I really don't think the damages matter at all. Uh, because the fact is that, like, Johnny Depp doesn't need the money. Amber Heard is not gonna, like, she's probably not gonna win, so who gives a fuck? So, like, there's going to be no damages that are given out, period. I feel like, yeah, she's not, like, how's he even going to get the money out of her anyway? It's not going to happen. And, uh, what's this here? Uh, it's fake news. Uh, birds don't identify fledglings based on scent. You can handle them. They won't get abandoned. I'm not going to take the risk. Like, I, I'd, I wa but why touch, the, why touch the baby bird? Like, why even, like, why even do that? There's no reason for me to touch the baby bird. Because, like, you never know if there could be, like, a disease. I could get it dirty. There's just no reason. There's no reason to touch the fucking bird. Don't touch the bird. There's not going to be any problems. And so that's the way I see it. I, yeah, I don't want to despawn it or anything like that. And so uh, I stay away. I keep a distance. They're fucking birds, man. And if they, if they want to come and, you know, fly on my shoulder or something later on, then they can do that. But not whenever they're just sitting there and they can't fly. And so, uh, yeah, that's what I look at it. Now, let me go back over and uh, and look at the rest of this shit, too, obviously. Like, there's been a lot of stuff that's gone on. Uh, overall, I think that uh, ACLU should probably come out. Uh, they should come out with a statement about this and, and, like, kind of explain where they're coming from. Because if they want to build Johnny Depp for this kind of stuff, it's like you do something like this and you're kind of picking a side. You know what I mean? Like, am I am I crazy here? I, I feel like you're kind of picking a side whenever you do something like this. So it's like, just come out and make a statement. Like, there's no reason, for example, there's no reason why they can't make a statement. There's no reason why they can't say, yo, like, we're just trying to get the money back because it took us a lot of time to get the information. People will be like, ah, that's fucking stupid. But then if they say, like, well, we don't really know what happened. We're waiting to see what the jury thinks because we respect the law. I think most people will be like, uh, you know, like, fuck you, but okay. You know what I mean? Like, people would understand that, yeah. They'll double down and keep vilifying people like us? Well, if they do that, good. I think they should do that. Let people know what's going on. They're right to charge him, but even in context, they attacked Depp for years. They should have PR waved it away. 80K isn't worth a ruined rep. Uh, it certainly makes them look bad. You're, you're definitely right about that. And uh, what's this here? And uh, how's this an article? How's this article st still on the ACLU? Let me see what the hell this is. Uh, actress Amber Heard donates millions to support ACLU in its work against fighting violence. Um, yeah, so uh, the other half of the summit will be donated and uh, announced yesterday that she will give. Okay, yeah, so this is a pledge, guys. Don't worry about it. And uh, why is the article up? It doesn't really fucking matter. Who cares? Uh, it just makes them look bad more than anybody else. Like, nobody else looks bad besides that except for them. And so uh, that's where it is. There's a, um, what's this here? Uh, that was a court ruling that she needs to give the money. I don't think that she needs to give the money. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. But uh, we'll see what happens, okay? We'll see. Is this going to be? Uh, is this going to be it or not? Now, I know that they have, like, countdowns that occur regularly, but we'll see what this is. Um, what's this here? Pledging the same thing? <clears throat> How come you don't listen to what they say on the live video before the trial? Um, well, because he's just going to come back and say the same thing over and over. Right? I mean, this guy, like, what he's going to do is he's going to come on and he's going to let people know, like, listen, they're still deliberating. They're still figuring shit out. And so... You know, we're waiting to see what it's going to be. I think that's as fair as possible. Jabate, yeah, he's going to be up there. He's going to be ready, and that's what it's going to be. Because if it's ready, they're going to just come right in front of that courthouse. They're going to be like, listen, it's about to be it, man. And uh, we're going to start seeing Amber Heard working at IHOP soon? No, no. I mean, like, she's got money probably enough to retire. And, and like, the thing is, like, 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 I don't really want anything bad to happen to her. Like, I mean, she just had a kid. Like, that's just, like, that's weird. Like, what the fuck? Like, I just want her to move on with her life. And just, like, stop this bullshit. Like, just fucking move on.